Hello, I am Greg Soul, and welcome to another demonstration. Today, I'm going to be using the Ansible Automation platform to resize a disk on a Windows machine inside of VMware, right? A lot of little pieces there, um, but it's actually pretty straightforward and simple. So I'm going to start by showing you my Windows machine here. I've got volume E. You can see it's um, size to about a gig right now. I'm just keeping it small for demonstration purposes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into the Ansible Automation platform into my job template here. I'm going to click launch and fire it off. So while it runs, I'll go ahead and step you through the playbook to kind of give you an idea of how the process works. This is my playbook in my Git repository, open and public and ready for you to utilize. So here at the top, I'm setting up some variables and I also have the host that I'm going to be operating against. Now, keep in mind, I'm just launching it against the static host, but this could also be via your network monitoring system or whatever monitoring package you're using. It could be calling the Ansible Automation Platform API, passing over, hey, this is the host that I want to modify. This is the drive that needs to be resized. And Bob's your uncle, right? It'll pop in. You could do it, say, percentage based. So you could query and see how big the disk is now and say add 20% or 30% or whatever, right? So this could be a entirely automated process. I would think if you're doing that entirely automated from your NMS, you would also want to send some kind of message uh, to the team, to the ticket system, whatever it happens to be to alert everybody. But here, I'm just kind of setting up my basic stuff. So here's the host I'll be operating against. I've got a VAR section that's got some pertinent information. Um, I'm really just connecting into the VMware vCenter very first and I am shutting down the guest so I say hey this guest uh, in my inventory it's actually stored as the exact same uh, uh, name as it is in VMware vCenter right so uh, the inventory host name matches that of uh, VMware so I'm really just saying hey shut down the host in question wait just a second then I do the resize on the disk so you can't actually resize the disk in VMware I'm connecting to VMware resizing you can't do that while it's running so something I learned is if you resize it and you don't specify what SCSI type it is you're gonna have a bad time it will assume some different default and uh, put that in place and then your system won't boot anymore so be sure to query ahead of time or so you could do this dynamically you could query and see what the disk type is and then plug that in here right so for me for my demo purposes I just kind of hard-coded it really quick and I'm specifying the new size here so I'm making it two gigs uh, I am then going to uh, connect to the guest I'm gonna power it up right you can see right here I'm just saying for that same uh, VMware server state powered on after that I'm just gonna wait a little bit so I'm going to do a delay of 15 seconds after that previous command and then I'm going to be checking uh, using the wait for connection. So really it just attempts to make a connection to that host over and over until it comes back up and then it will move on to the next step, which is I'm just doing a simple PowerShell script here. We do have a module that allows you to directly resize these, but for brevity, I was uh, actually trying to demonstrate how you could use PowerShell, like directly PowerShell scripts. So that's what I used here. I uh, have it connect in, set the drive letter, and then issue this resize uh, command right here. And after all of that is completed, let's take a look over here. I'm going to pop into my job section just to do a quick refresh. It looks like it completed successfully. I can see shutdown, resize, connect back in. That was good. And then it resized the disk itself. So let me connect into this host in VMware and take a look at it. All right, I'm going to type in disk management to go to the control panel to take a look at all of my disks. So it went from one gig to roughly two gigs, right? It uh, created the uh, or expanded the volume, uh, which will show up as a, a new available disk. And then you issue the command and it will just tell this specific drive, drive E to expand all the way. So as you can see, you could trigger this in many different ways, right? From an NMS, you could do it directly. Uh, it can be extremely useful, at least in my opinion. Let me know how you would change this. Any questions or comments? And thanks, and we'll see you next time.